Hey, yep. right, this is all a little bit embarrassing. It would appear that the uh, cold weather has killed the bobber. I've been putting off filming this video all week. We've, you know, we've had sub-zero temperatures all week, um, which doesn't work well with the camera batteries. But the longer I waited, the lower the temperatures dropped. So finally, on the day of filming this, it was minus three. Actually, I tell a lie, I had a look at my phone while I was uh, actually filming this and it had risen to the heady heights of minus two. Now, as part of the um, Bonneville Bobber Black project, uh, I intended fitting an oil gauge or oil temperature gauge on the Bobber. A simple, straightforward little video to make which I thought with, you know, if I put my big coat on, I would probably get it sort of done in half an hour, three quarters of an hour, maybe an hour at worst. Because with the best will in the world, I didn't want to be standing outside in the freezing cold with a camera all day in those temperatures. Well, that wouldn't be possible anyway, because the cold just kills the camera batteries. Because obviously, as part of filming that, I need to start the engine and warm the bike up so that you can see the gauge in action. But yeah, that won't happening, not today. Now, I suppose from Triumph's point of view, they probably aren't expecting people to be out riding these bikes in those kind of temperatures. And, you know, they're not exactly famous for the quality electrics in the first place. The Bobber is the only bike that I've had problems with uh, regarding the battery. Um, I put a new battery in two years ago. It's been on a battery tender ever since. It's been fan. I had the green light when I unplugged it on the day of filming, but yeah, well, I've never ever seen anything quite like it, to be honest. The display was just going barmy. The needle was, uh, you know, the speedo was just flicking about all over the place while I was trying to start it. The bike refused to start. I've got no idea what the issue is. It's been suggested to me that the battery has actually frozen, which I suppose is possible. But the Mule, the classic 500, started up without any issues when I tried it, so I, I honestly, I, I don't know. I'll wait till the weather gets warmer, I'll try it again, and if the issue persists, obviously I'm going to have to investigate it. Right, so, um, oil temperature gauges on motorcycles, quite a, a common accessory that people like to fit. And especially with the water cool triumphs that do tend to run very hot, it does offer peace of mind for the rider. Many of whom often sort of approach me about the question, you know, whether their bikes are overheating. It, I think it's just the excessive heat that these engines produce, uh, you know, create that fear in people's heads. And it is nice to have a little temperature gauge there just to reassure you that it's within the uh, oper normal operating parameters. Now these are quite a common accessories, a lot of different parts manufacturers uh, offer them, but quite often the attention to detail isn't what it should be. Now I'm not going to show you uh, any photographs to um, demonstrate this because you know that's bad manners towards other manufacturers. But quite often the interface where the actual device uh, fits onto the oil filler aesthetically leaves a lot to be desired. This Bobber project obviously is a Moton Customs project and this is a Moton Customs part. So Moton Customs have taken the trouble to make sure that the interface where this fastens onto the bike is as neat and tidy and aesthetically pleasing as they can possibly make it. And I think they've done a pretty good job. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about the discount code for Moton Customs. As you know, uh, viewers of this channel get a standard 12% discount on all Motone products uh, using a specific code. That code is changed frequently to prevent it from coming into sort of common use. There is a new code, I'll leave it in the video description down below. Sam at Motone passed it on to me uh, this morning, but um, I think YouTube might demonetize the uh, video if I say it out loud, so you'll have to go to the video description. So, this little oil temperature gauge kit comes in two parts. You've got the actual temperature gauge itself and the mount that it fastens into, which also forms your oil filler cap. Now, the actual temperature gauge itself is the highest quality proprietary made 
gauge that Moton Customs could get their hands on, because th there's no point making one of these from scratch on your own. It would be so expensive that people wouldn't want to buy it. And I'll get onto the specifications of that in a moment. The bit that actually makes this kit different is the oil filler cap itself. Now, you're never going to be able to get a device like this to sort of seamlessly meld in with the engine on the motorcycle. It's always going to be a compromise. But with the clearances that are available, they've ensured that it's as inobtrusive as possible when fitted to the bike. I'll show you that in a moment. Now, some manufacturers use um, the sort of cheaper temperature gauges with a shorter probe. This can affect accuracy by quite a lot. Although they're okay for giving you a rough idea of what's going on. Motone wanted the best accuracy that could be achieved, which means the mount has to sit quite high in order to uh, stop that probe from getting mangled by the engine. And as you can see, uh, the housing itself is designed with a sort of air gap around the probe to allow even heat distribution. So as far as accuracy with this kind of component goes, it's about as good as it gets. Now, the mount is made from a high-quality CNC machined aircraft-grade aluminium and it's threaded to fit all the Triumph Bonneville model motorcycles. It uses a standard high-grade O-ring to achieve oil tightness, just as you get on the OEM oil filler caps. And then moving around to the actual gauge itself, it boasts a mineral crystal rather than the cheaper plastic crystals that you get on some of the uh, you know, cheaper components. And it's oil filled. Now this achieves two things. One, it protects the mechanism from uh, vibration from the engine to ensure that it uh, remains functioning and reliable. And the other is to stop the uh, internals of the glass or crystal from fogging up. It's available in two versions, one calibrated to give a reading in degrees centigrade and one calibrated for degrees Fahrenheit. Now the threaded part of the gauge itself which uh, fastens into the housing is on a sort of swivel assembly. So once you've fully tightened it up you can continue to turn the actual gauge itself to position it exactly as you want it. So you can have it in an attitude so you can actually read it while you're riding the bike or you can have it over to one side, you know, whatever floats your boat really so that you can read it while you stood at the side of the bike uh, looking at the engine. And obviously actual fitting itself is as simple as removing your oil filler cap and replacing it. And that's all there is to it. Now, in an ideal world, obviously, I would start the engine up now and demonstrate how it works, but I've already explained why that wasn't possible. All in all, I think what you've got here is a really neat and tidy solution if you want an oil temperature gauge for these bikes and you want one that looks the absolute best. As with the original oil filler caps, you know, it fits that machined head really well, exposing absolute minimum amount of that sort of silver ring that normally with a lot of these devices is much more visible. Right, as I've said, I will leave um, links to both the centigrade and the Fahrenheit version in the video description down below, along with that new 12% discount code. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and my other videos and in doing so helping to support this channel. I really do appreciate it. I would also appreciate it if you would leave a like on this video 
and consider subscribing to this channel if you're not already a subscriber. It does help the channel out. Now, if you would like to support the channel in other ways, you can do that via Patreon or you can use the Super Thanks button down below. That kind of assistance is always greatly appreciated. I am, of course, going to be back next week, so until then, please ride safely, especially if you're riding in this weather, and I'll see you soon.